Hey party people, welcome back to So Swear and Cubed. I'm Jamie. Hi. Uh, I was gone last week. Sorry about that. Um, I thought I was gonna have a video out and it was gonna be like super chill and fun. However, it was my birthday week, so I just kind of like did whatever I wanted to. And that included just a small little teeny tiny break. Again, even though I just came back. It's fine. But yeah, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We did a Pokemon community day. We did a whole bunch of like Pokemon Go days, which were super fun. And uh, we had a lot of fun. I mean, that's really just it. I just took a week to like chill out and I don't know, just reset mentally. Let me, let me get into like the meat and potatoes of this video. I gotta roll up my sleeves because it's important. It's not actually. Uh, so this video is just like an unusual birthday haul uh, because I didn't really get like the normal stuff for my birthday. I got some like weird funky items. Some of them are sitting here on this table that I'm like really looking at because I'm hungry and I want to eat them. Uh, so that's what this is. It's just a really quick, weird, unusual birthday 2021 haul. And uh, I guess we'll start with like the most normal items that I bought and we'll get into the weirder ones. <laughs> I splurged. I got myself some cute little birthday gifts. Some of the first stuff that I got, it's just like super chill, simple um, jewelry. So I got some little, oh, little tree earrings. Those are super cute. It's from a brand that I don't want to name because they're kind of MLM-y um, and I don't want to give them business. Like the only reason I bought from them is because uh, my mom's friend, we wanted to support my mom's friend. So like, that's kind of it. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have given them money, but I did only purchase pieces that I really like. So take that as you will. Uh, this is number two. It's just a little like wrist cuff. Um, I was hoping it would have a snap, but it has a buckle. Really annoying, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, I still really like it. So, you know. Uh, I don't blame myself for that one. Um, these guys, just some like chill, oh, there you go. Chill, super cute, like small earrings. Um, I don't know, I liked the texture on them. Uh, I will say though that these earrings are a little um, thick. Like the actual part that goes in your ear is a little bit thicker than what my ears are used to. So like after a day of wearing them, I was like, my ears feel so heavy and like stretched out. Um, oh, this one. Okay, so this one was like my biggest disappointment, but um, I got this cute little bracelet. It's a malachite bracelet, which y'all know. I mean, like, obviously I love my stones. This is zebra calcite I got from a shop in Dallas called Rock Barrel. Uh, not for my birthday, I've had that, but like these might be real, I don't know. They're so small, I can't tell, but they are cool to the touch a little bit. So I think they are real. However, I can buy a malachite bracelet with larger beads um, locally, incredibly way cheaper than what I got this for. So I'm like, eh, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I thought the beads were gonna be bigger and they weren't, so like, eh but it is still a really beautiful piece. So I'm not too mad about it. I'm just like kind of mad about it. This is a fun one. However, I don't understand how to put it on, but it's um, like fake leather or something with an abalone shell inset. I don't know. I just, I just like it. Uh, however, it has no like buckle. Like they just think that that's gonna stay. So I'm gonna figure something out to change the clasp uh, because I can't even put it on. I need like someone to put it on for me and I am a very independent person. If I had to ask for anything, uh, I'm just not going to ask and I'm just gonna struggle and suffer because that's who I am as a person. This is like my favorite piece by far. Oh geez, oh geez. Okay, here we go. Um, so it's a necklace with like three little parts. There's like a little heart, a little chain, and then a little lock. Um, what's funny is it does have, I really hope you can see that little like where a key should go, but like there's no, obviously no key. Uh, but what I really like about it is you can take off all the different parts as you want. So I could either wear it layered or not. I could take them as many of them off, wear them on their own, whatever. I actually super like this. If I liked the brand, I would tell you where to get it, but 
I don't want to encourage them. So there's that. What is the next most normal thing that I have here? Sean got me this little, it's something called cats versus pickles. I don't know what that is. Apparently it really is just a line of little beanbag cat and pickle toys, which like, okay, sure. I thought it was like from a cartoon, but it's not. Um, but I really love Halloween and it's October and this guy's a little, there's a little spider, little spider guy. And he's the little black widow, sweet little baby. And he's got the appropriate amount of little legs. Anyways, I love him. He's cute. Let me give you some uh, backstory to this next present. Uh, my parents, every like anniversary, like something special, my dad would get my mom a box of Whitman's sampler chocolates. Cause that's like a, hey, it's special. I'm thinking of you, um, have a treat, right? So, uh, Sean got me the little sampler box. I think usually my parents do like the gigantic, like the huge one. Um, however, I am moderately still on a diet, sort of, kind of, maybe not really. Um, so we just got the small one. There's still some in here, but I ate most of it. Uh, is it like the most highest quality, most decadent, amazing, expensive chocolate? No, but... I love it. Also, hi, did you fall over? Bro, you good? Do you want to talk about that? No? Okay, let me fix you. You better? Something's not quite right here, but I don't know what, so I'm not gonna fix it. The next thing, so part of what I wanted to do for my birthday, we wrote out a list of like everything that I wanted to do. Obviously, we didn't do all of it, but we did most of it, I think. I don't have the list anymore, so you're just gonna have to trust me on that. Uh, but there is a like little farmer's market that happens around us like once or twice a month or something. And I wanted to go because I like farmer's markets and they're really fun. And while at the farmer's market, I got a couple bars of soap. Um, I actually got this one for Sean, but like it smells like a men's cologne and it's super nice. I really like it. I might steal this one. And then for me, oh, oh this one is called like Galactic Skies. And this one here is apple sage. Um, I really love cold process soaps. I want to start learning how to make them because I'm addicted to them. These ones both smell really good. I'm excited to use these 100%. Yeah, that was like the next most normal thing. Uh, second most normal thing. I got myself a bag of coffee. Um, we were at, again, the farmer's market, same one. This is Cement City Roasters. It is some Honduras coffee. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that second word because I speak French. That's about the only other language I know. And even then, mm, not really, not really. I did have a cup of this. It is so delicate in flavor. Um, and I actually really like that. So love this. It smells amazing. Uh, like just sniffing it before it's brewed or because these are the whole beans. What is it when you like crush the bean? Bean crushing? No. Filing? No. Uh, welcome to my brain. I never know the words that I want. Uh, blending? I don't know the word for this. What is, what's the word for where you like um, make the bean smaller than it is. I don't know these words right now. This is incredibly frustrating. Anyways, comment down below. What word am I trying? To, what am I trying to think of? I don't know. Blint coffee grind, coffee grind. Oh my God. When you grind the coffee, it smells incredible, but it smells even better in the bag before you grind it. That took way too long. I am so sorry. Moving on, another farmer's market purchase is this uh, smoked salsa. I It's by Casa Maya Fusion. It's just, I don't know how to describe this. It's like I'm eating a spicy barbecue. It smells like a barbecue. It tastes like a barbecue. It's delicious and it is incredibly spicy. The first bite does not hit you, uh, but like the second and third come in for the kill. They just are there to straight up Mario. And I love it, it tastes so good. I'm actually gonna open it because I want some, cause I'm hungry. And then uh, the last little thing that I got at the farmer's market, again, this is a very unusual birthday haul. Um, 
are these like little peppers. So the guy who was selling these, look at these pretty little peppers. Um, he calls these habaneras because they're habanero peppers with none of the heat. So you just get the habanero flavor. I forget what he called these ones. They look so pink on camera. I swear they're a deep, like gorgeous red. I forgot what he called those, but he said they taste like eating cherry tomatoes. Can confirm, they sure do. And then he said these little purple boys, which this one does not look uh, as plump and delicious as maybe it did a few days ago. So I'm gonna have to use these. He said it's like a relative of the cayenne pepper, which I fully believe. Cause like even just smelling these, you can like smell the spice on them. I got peppers for my birthday. I just wanted them and they sounded good. Uh, I'm gonna pick me up a small one. Uh, so these are the ones that taste like cherry tomatoes, which can confirm they absolutely do. Actually, you know what? Mm. They taste like a very, very fresh off the vine, sweet cherry tomato, but they still have the like pepper texture and a little bit of the flavor. And yes, I'm dipping a pepper in salsa because the salsa is that good. Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, but it's so yummy. A lot of my birthday presents are food. Uh, because I love, I love food. That's pretty much it for like the physical items that I got. We did do the Pokemon uh, Dust School Community Day. I bought the extra ticket for that and um, I did the extra special research and everything. I ended up with a few, I don't remember how many, but I'll put footage here. I got a bunch of shiny Dust School. I didn't get a perfect one, but like, that's okay. And then we also went to the Fort Worth Zoo, which everybody always talks about the Dallas Zoo and I really like the Dallas Zoo, but hey, if I'm gonna be honest, I think I like the Fort Worth Zoo a lot better. It's way easier to navigate. It's way more shaded. It's just so much nicer. Trust me, I love the Dallas Zoo, but the Fort Worth Zoo, I think is, uh, it wins my heart. If you're ever traveling and, um, you wind up in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area. Uh, the Fort Worth Zoo is also really cheap. So like tickets are so inexpensive. Go check them out. I think that's pretty much it. I just had a really good birthday turning an uh, indiscriminate uh, number of my age. I'm never gonna tell you guys how old I am. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a secret for as long as I can. I'm gonna be 75 and you're still gonna be guessing. I enjoyed my birthday. I enjoyed the time off. I'm getting passionate about projects again. They're not really projects I think you guys are expecting or maybe even wanting, but you know what? I'm just gonna do what I love. And sometimes that's cleaning content, sometimes it's scary content, and sometimes it's something totally new. And I think I'm ready for that part of my life. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and just guzzle the rest of this as if it's a drink, cause it's so good. I love you guys, stay cool, stay cute, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah, toodles.